Austin City Council is voting on the dedication of nearly 100 acres of parkland. The land was once a neighborhood full of homes that were then destroyed by the historic flooding back in October of 2013. The city spent millions to buy back those homes in the Onion Creek area and turn that neighborhood into a park, all to try to reduce the risk from floods there. The gray part you see there, those are the homes that were bought by the city. The green was existing parkland. The purple outline that is the focus of today's vote. Candy Rodriguez is there live this morning with a closer look and also the larger concern here. Good morning, Candy. John and Sally, good morning. It may be dark out here, but you can still see some of the growing vegetation behind me. I got the opportunity to speak with a former Onion Key Creek neighbor who tells me she is excited for this to become a vibrant parkland, but she has some concerns and you can see right here why. If you head down to the lower Onion Creek Yarraby Bend area, you'll hear the chirps of birds. I mean, it's great for the animals, the wildlife. There's a plethora of wildlife down here. I love it. But if you take a look around, you'll notice remnants of driveways and sidewalks being claimed by Mother Nature. On Google, you can see the difference the years have made. Streets once there are no more. All of this a big difference for Lisa Lavadan, but a welcome change from what she remembers waking up to Halloween morning 2013. I felt like I was in the middle of a raging river. It was very scary. It was just water was just raging all around me. Historic flash flooding left Lisa homeless. I figured I'd buy a van <laughs> since I might be living in it for a while. The little did I know five and a half years later I'd still be. Yet Lisa still calls this area home and she says the bigger threat now a Legal dumping. They dump tires and televisions and dressers and piles of trash. Visitors notice too. I do see some old mattresses and some old sofas that have been thrown on the side of the road here. Now Lisa says she'll need the city's help to keep the new park clean. I contacted the city to find out how they plan to tackle this dumping issue and they tell me they need your help. They're telling me that if you see something, say something, they want you to contact Austin 311 with your concerns. Now, if today city council approves the dedication, watershed protection officials tell me there could be a ceremony in May. Back to you. All right, Candy, all those buyouts and demolition cost the city $73 million, but the city was only on the hook for $26 million of that because of its partnership with the Army Corps of Engineers. Since the late 90s, they've worked together on flood mitigation projects for Onion Creek and Williamson Creek watersheds. Both of those areas are prone to flooding.